Hi everyone, it is Kate from The Fold Line and I am back with the new sewing pattern releases for November and December. It's the last one of the year, I can't believe it. Um, I just thought, going forward, I'm not going to do one for December because there's not, I don't think there's going to be that many more releases, so anything really great I'll sort of band into January's one. Um, I've covered, yeah, the last sort of five weeks of pattern releases, so I'll pop them all into a blog post which will be linked down below. So I've got six or seven to talk about and then, yeah, I'll link down below to the blog post so you can go and have a see of everything because there have been some really good ones this month. Um, I will say that this is quite outerwear heavy. Um, I sort of... There's just some nice outerwear and I thought why not just plonk it all in because it's cold and we want to be wearing coats. But the first pattern I've got to talk to you about is one, guys, I can't believe it, I've actually made this so I can really vouch for it. Um, it's the Hannah Wrap Dress and Top from By Hand London. It comes in sizes 6 to 24. Um, so having made this, I realised and thinking about this, I probably should have been wearing it but I will, I'll wear it in the next one. Um, I have made it for the new Craft House Christmas party, which is this weekend, so I can definitely talk you through this. So, key features of the pattern, it's um, quite a deep, having put it on really quite deep V wrap. Um, it ties at the side and it ties also on the inside of the dress. Um, it's got bust and waist darts and then a gathered skirt, or like, you know, the skirt panel is gathered wrap around the waist. Um, there are three options in terms of the sleeves. You've got a, cap, a kind of standard cap sleeve, a tulip sleeve, which is a cap sleeve, which almost has like a little slit in the middle of it. And then a bishop sleeve, which I probably would call a tulip shaped sleeve because it's got that sort of bell, bell bottom. It's quite kind of 70s feel. And that's the version I made with the, with the long sleeve, because especially at this time of year, I definitely don't want my arms out. So this pattern, is mega having made it myself. I made a size 12, fitted me straight out of the packet. Um, I think having the waist darts and the bust darts make quite a big difference. I think it really, if you have, I'm, I'm a D cup, so having really good shaping around there is really important. And also I was a bit worried that the wrap would gape because of my boobs, but actually having the shaping around here really, really helped. If you haven't made a party dress and you're thinking you want to do it, this took me, I think it took me, I am quite speedy sir, but I think it took me about four hours to make, so it wasn't that hard. It was quite like nice kind of quick, quickish make. Um, it's great, I would highly recommend it. It's, I feel really nice in it as well, which um, is always important when you've finished making something. So yeah, definitely recommended from me, the Hannah Wrap dress. Um, next up we've got the um, Ilford jacket from Friday Pattern Company. This comes in sizes 6 to 28. The really cool thing about this pattern is that it is a unisex. So boys and girls can wear this. Fab. The great thing about this also with it being unisex is that it's going to be more of a relaxed fit which means that it's probably a little bit easier in terms of, you know, how it's going to look, you've got going to have less fitting issues. So this could be a really good option if you haven't made outerwear before. It comes with two options, so there's a longer version and the longer version, the one I've showed you, feels a bit more dressy. Um, it's got a button down placket at the front, it's got patch pockets with a little kind of flap and button over it. Um, no cuff. The shorter version, which looks to me more like a classic sort of workwear jacket, um, has buttons down the front, it's got a cuff, it's got patch pockets on kind of patch pockets on the bust and down by your kind of, I guess, towards the hem of the jacket. Um, it's really nice and I really like the concept of having something that like everyone can wear and that you buy one pattern and you can use it for multiple people. Um, you could have buy one for yourself and then make something for your partner. Um, yeah, it just feels like a really nice kind of pattern. The fact also that it's not lined means it's easier um, to make. So yeah, I just thought that was a really, really nice option. So next up, we've got the Alcott dress from Cashmereette. This comes in sizes 12 to 28. 
Um, it also comes with three different bus cup sizes, so cup C, D, E, F, G, H. So if you are large, bigger busted, um, these patterns are really fantastic. Um, definitely worth kind of looking into cashmere patterns. So it's, you can see from the line drawing, um, it's a jersey pattern um, and she's suggested mid-weight knits, which I would agree. So something like a, a cotton, a cotton elastane jersey rather than a viscose. So the viscose are usually lightweight and much softer, drapier, but I think she's right, you need something with a little bit of structure. So key features of the pattern are, it's got this classic wrap, it's got a really kind of big chunky waistband in there and then a flared skirt. The second option comes with um, ruffles basically, so you can add a ruffle to the sleeve and you can add a ruffle to the bottom of the dress. Um, I think this is a really good pattern. I think it's really versatile. I think you'll wear, I think you'll make multiple patterns if you invest in this one. I think you can make it in lots of different kind of variants and make it really useful. I also thought it'd be quite nice if you cropped it off and made it into a top, just sort of a wrap style top with the frill sleeve option, I think would be really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, cashmere patterns, I think are really fantastic for fit. They've, everyone raves about them. Um, to be able to have a wrap dress that doesn't gape if you're bigger busted is a rare, rare thing and she seems to have been able to do that. Um, the sleeve as well, it looks like it's a sort of like flared sleeve. So it gives it a sort of, I think the dress feels a little bit 1920s. Um, but yeah, it's such a great party dress, great if you're going out. And because it's jersey, it's quite, it's going to be quite speedy to make as well. And it's stretchy, so it'll feel really comfortable when you're dancing around the dance floor or trying to eat an entire Christmas dinner before you go on to the next person's house where you have to eat more things. So anything with a bit of give around the stomach this Christmas is always definitely <laughs> appreciated. Um, so yeah, that's my second one. Third one, God, you can tell the hangover. Um, right, so the next one we've got is the Pona jacket from Helen's Closet. I know I mentioned this in our So The Trends video, but I thought I'd pop it in here too because it's a really great pattern and it was new last month. So this comes in sizes da -da -da, um, six to 30, it's available on the online shop. Again, another really good simple piece of outerwear, fantastic for your first adventure into outerwear. And I really like Helen's instructions, they're really thorough and they really hold your hand. So if you're a bit more on the nervous side, I would definitely say that, you know, actually Friday Pack and Company have really good instructions too. So yeah, either the Ilford jacket or, or the Pona are really good on the instruction front. So two options, you can either go for a longer version or a cropped version. Neither of these jackets have any fastenings, great, that's gonna speed up your making. Um, both have patch pockets. Um, they've got the collar, it's hard to tell, I think I think it doesn't this jacket doesn't have a stand on the collar so it's just the fall which makes it again easier in terms of construction and you can see from one of the um, pictures I'm showing you that it's got a really nice big deep facing on the front so there's lots of really fun things you could do with this you know you could have the facing and inside of the collar in a different color um, which would look really nice, just add something different. But I love how she's done it. I love the cropped linen version. I like the longer version that she's made in a denim. That would be so useful. And if you wanted to make it for Christmas time or going out, so, you know, you could make it at, in, so, in a, you know, just a standard black. Or, you know, you could, I think I was saying, you could have some velvet trim somewhere or something to make it feel a bit Christmassy. But I think this is a really good project. And if you do have a bit of spare time over Christmas and you're thinking about making something, I think this would be a really nice, gentle project to do over the festive season. So yeah, I'd highly recommend this one. Next up, we have got the Alston Alston reversible jacket from Sew to Grow. Um, again, another jacket. Um, there is still one more jacket to go. Um, I really liked this and I thought this was definitely worth putting in. Again, quite a simple make, but I thought this was really interesting. So it comes in sizes 8 to 26. It's available on the online shop. 
The cool thing about this is it's reversible. So my main, my first thought when I saw this was that cool, if you spill something down it, you can just literally turn it on inside out and no one will know. Anyone else who's a bit clumsy like myself, this will be a, a great feature. Um, so because it's reversible, um, it means that you have to make the inside as pretty as the outside. But I think the way that it's constructed is really clever. I had to kind of look at the pattern. It's an interesting idea. Um, it's quite relaxed fit, again, so you're not going to have less fitting issues. There are no fastenings on it. There's an option to add a tie, a kind of big tie belt at the front, which I would like, you know, when it's really cold, you do want to have your jacket done up. But it also looks lovely with it open. In terms of fabrics for this, I think there's loads of different things that you could do. I think if you bought a boiled wool, um, that would be great because the fabric doesn't fray. Um, or I've definitely seen a lot of those like bonded scubas or bonded wools where you have different colours on two each side. I think that would look amazing. Um, there's loads of cool things that you could do with this. And I think this as a garment would be quite a useful one for your wardrobe. If you're going somewhere and you want to look a little bit smarter, um, you could wear a fairly basic top underneath and put this jacket on and feel kind of smart-ish. Um, but yeah, I, I thought this was a really good, nice option. And again, quite simple to make. Could be lovely to do over Christmas if you've got a bit of making time. Um, next up, we have got the Cape Cod Capelet from Itch to Stitch. This comes in sizes six to 20. It's available on the online shop. I pop this one in because I was thinking about Christmas and again, how much time we all have. And I thought this was a nice option because actually this is a nice quick make and a really good layering piece. Um, when I first saw it, I was a bit like, when would I wear that? But actually, I think it's quite useful. So it's really simple in terms of construction. It's, well, let's have a look, one, it's, I think it's kind of two pieces, three pieces. Um, so it's got this really nice sort of draped neck to it, almost like a polo neck with a bit more kind of, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing this movement. Um, it, it, you can make it, in, I think it's jersey, I think, yes it is, which means that there are loads of different options and it could be a nice little kind of um, scrap buster as well for using up leftover fabrics. But I thought if you like this sort of style, you're going to get quite a lot of wear out of it. It's really good for layering. You can shove it on when you're at home and you just want one extra layer and it's a bit chilly because let's be honest, all of, well, I don't know about working from home and it's quite chilly at the moment. So yeah, I thought this would be a really nice option for kind of people who are time poor and want to make something over Christmas. And again, you're not going to have any fitting issues with it because it's jersey and it's loose fitting anyway. So yeah winner. Right, last but definitely not least, and I promise, <laughs> well obviously because it's the last one, there'll be no more outerwear, but this is the Hove jacket from In The Folds. Um, it's available on the online shop. It comes in sizes 6 to 28. Um, I have definitely, if you watch watched lots of these videos, I am such a huge fan of In The Folds patterns. I think she's just really clever. I love her pattern cutting. Every single one, when it comes out, the seam lines are really, like the seam lines are really interesting. You know you're going to learn something when you make this jacket that you've never done before. And I've made a couple of her patterns, and I just think they're fab. The instructions are also ace, like really, really top, top notch. Um, so this jacket is a kind of like sporty. It's got a, definitely got a kind of luxe sportswear feel to it. Um, it comes in two variations. You can either make it long sleeved or no sleeved. So it's the no sleeve version is almost like a gilet. Um, especially if you're in warmer countries, this could be really nice if you're like going to the gym and you want to just shove something on over the top. Um, it's got a three piece hood. Um, there's lots of lovely details. So you can see from the front, it's got these swooping seam lines which have inseam pockets. Um, on the back, it's got these really cool, just below the neckline, it's got these kind of big dramatic pleats. I'll pop in a picture, I'm just trying to look here so you can, it's actually quite hard to see them on the um, on the photographs, but um, they're stitched down sort of t 
to the kind of middle upper back and then the pleats are kind of let loose which means you get a kind of real a-line dra drapey kind of boxy feel which I think is lovely um, I think it's just a really cool pattern it's really interesting and I haven't seen anything like this so I think it's great it's also got a zip up the front which definitely adds a bit of a kind of sporty vibe to it um, yeah I mean it's a winner in my book basically right so I hope you enjoyed that um, I feel like I charged through that speed um, we have got one more blog post coming out next week which is I thought it might be useful for people to have um, kind of last minute Christmas presents that you can make kind of semi quickly so next week will be kind of speedy things to sew for other people before Christmas and then we've got one more video which is a, the sew down which is just before Christmas and I've got some really nice things already but I will collect more things to talk to you about things to read and watch and listen to before we all go off and actually have a bit of downtime. I don't know about you guys but I am so ready for a bit of time off and a bit of kind of decombobulating for the year it's been a mad one for us at, at the fold line this year and I'm sure you're all feeling the same just like yeah um but we just have to get through the next couple of weeks of madness and then and then there's a bit of free time at the end of it um right so have a lovely weekend and I will see you all very soon bye